going on everybody all right good morning how's everybody doing this morning hopefully everybody's staying healthy we got jason's deli today jason's, jason's deli i know a lot of you don't know about jason's but this is a big kind of a big deal down here in texas Jesus, that's, that's, that is pretty damn fat oh yeah this is texas this, owned deli this is a chicken panini that's some pretty damn fat sandwich right there, man. This deli is out of uh, Beaumont, actually. New York style deli here in Houston with a little, a little Texas twist on it. Uh, those of you that might know, I worked there at this company for nine years at Jason's. And um, I've had the food in a while. You know, my wife, she used to work there too. And um, I don't know, let's see how things change since uh, then. Look at that. Wow, that's, that's big a, and bold that's right a there. Deli. A yeah. deli club. And, you know, the food is kind of pricey, yeah. but it is big, though. I never had this before. First time for him, so he should enjoy this. Not a first time for me. I used to make all the sandwiches. I was pretty a big, uh, pretty much a big deal there at that company. Yeah, there you go. This is a, what you call it, a, a steak sandwich. Ribeye. I, I almost got can't that. really see that too good, but I don't know. It's like a sub or something like that, so we'll see. Only thing that I'm concerned about now is there's a lot of rabbit food on here. I mean, where I'm from, they would not use. It, though? They would not use this type of. So this is the problem, y'all, when it comes that to sandwiches. Look at that. Oh. This is the problem when it comes to sandwiches, man. I'm from up north. This is abomination. You see that? That's fucking salad mix. You would not find this on the East Coast. But I, enough for my ranching. Let's dig in. All right. That's pesto. Oh yeah. Good. First time having this sandwich from Jason. Though. This is something new. It's all right. I like it. You do. You got a winner, guys. I mean, Jason Deli was never one of my favorite favorites. But because you ate it every day. That's true. I mean, every time <laughs> you eat something every day, it's not, it don't become your favorite because you eat it so much, you get tired of it. When, when I, I had my Swarovski's, man, I was creating my own. Right. Yeah. With the same ingredients mm -hmm. that they carried, you know, I, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, man. When people used to see me, you know, I work here, eating a sandwich, like, oh, that looks good. What is that? It's not on the menu. What do you mean by that? It's in my creation. Oh, can you make me? And I have some customers ask me when you see me next time, make that for me, what you have. And then I tell them what's all on. You sure you want this? Yeah, man. And then you got the people say, oh, man, I, I told you to get, put that on. Oh, I didn't want that on mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they tell you at the last minute once the sandwich is done. And the, and the funniest thing is, a lot of people, when it comes to those restaurants, they can watch you make the sandwich. So they'll actually literally follow you with their eyes. And then wait till you make the mistake. Instead of saying, hey, I didn't want that. <laughs> yeah. It's like, dude, you followed me with your eyes making the sandwich. And you're going to tell me after I put that on there? Oh, man, what happened? You put Chipotle mayonnaise. They went regular. <laughs> dude. But that's the life in food service, guys. Customer's always the boss. It don't matter. Yeah, right. It sucks, but... Okay. I never really get pesto or anything, man. I'm not a big I had it a few times, but the flavor of it's real distinct. So I might only eat half of the sandwich, man. I'll just take the other half home and try to eat it later or something. Because... Okay. Pesto is robust, man. I, me, I never ate chicken panini because I can't take that much of, that much pesto. Yeah. I'm. If I'm eating pesto, it has to be just a little bit in pasta, and that's it. I can't have a sandwich that's repetitively tasting pesto, pesto, pesto. I'm not Italian. What I should have done is I cut the damn menu and the ingredients. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was so hungry. I should have went with my backup sandwich that I always get. I mean, that's a deli club. 
And those of you who ain't never had a deli club from there, they're bomb. This sandwich, on the other hand, I don't like it so much, but I'm gonna eat it. You don't like it so much because it's, they put too much lettuce on this, dude. Look, like, like it's, I love lettuce, man. I, I can't stand lettuce. To me, le lettuce is worthless. It doesn't pack any nutrition. It's just, it's worthless. When I eat sandwiches, I gotta have lettuce, man. It's the best. I can't eat, see, this is why I don't eat tomatoes because by the time I get to your sandwich, they're all jacked up. Dude, I have a phobia when it comes to certain things I eat. Textures and stuff. If it ain't right, I won't eat it. But, this is for educational research, guys. So pretty much, I'll be your guinea pig for right now. I'm a guinea pig. Don't forget three beards. Okay. Three beards. Yeah. Three beards. It's pretty good stuff, man. I can I can duplicate this on my house. Oh yeah. And, uh, yeah. Just go on down to your local grocery mart, toast you up some wheat bread, and grab you some lunch meat. You got to go. Pack of bacon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On another note, I remember working there. They had a sandwich called the Sergeant Pepper. For those people who know about the Beatles, the Beatles had a song called Sergeant Pepper, or an album, I think. Was it an album or a song? I believe it was an album. Okay. And uh, the Sergeant Pepper was a sandwich that had peppers and onions on it that was marinated in this season, and it was so good, man. And it was the French. It was a part of the French dip lineup. They had French dip sandwiches there too. It's called. Um, so the, I've never had that either. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. Called um, the Beef Eater. And you dip it's it in au jus, au yeah. jus, dude. I mean, that Sergeant Pepper. Once you dip it in the au jus, man, that sandwich is so good, man. And they can discontinue that sandwich, man. Made so many people mad. A guy with his son. He was eating that sandwich when he was in college because Jason Deli been around for about 40 some years guys about 45 if I'm not mistaken um, this guy was um, he, he went to college that was a sandwich that he ate and he dropped his son off to the same college he went to and wanted that same experience with his son he came into the deli he was like hey man two sergeant peppers like that with extra au jus <laughs> and the uh, people didn't know what the he was talking about it's like Ugh. they start panicking because I worked there for nine years so I knew exactly what he wanted I jumped into action marinated those peppers marinated those onions threw that roast beef on that bread for that guy and he was the happiest dude in the world <laughs> for his son i mean because that brought back so many members and i can yeah. see why food does that sometimes Man. because food brings back memories and good times sometimes and that guy was so happy man so if y'all people out there if y'all ever had the sergeant pepper let me know pretty good sandwich Now we can talk Jason's all day with me. Cause like I said, I worked there so you know so long. But my old high school friend Nathan contacted me yesterday. Mm -hmm. So maybe in the future he might be in a couple videos with us or something. Right on. Right on. I hadn't seen him over 20 years and he too was like my brother. Right. Since on. I was growing up and and shit. But it was really good talking to him yesterday, man. You know, so we both want to link up so we can do do a video or two together. Right on. Um, Not be badass. Making, doing big things, trying to make some things happen. Trying to bring you guys more content, more videos. Those know. interviews like for bands and clubs and bars that you're here in Houston. Okay. Him and the, his group. It's not quite what I do, what I want to do, but uh, right. we can put our heads together and make some good content. That's right. Doing YouTube videos is kind of like a full time job, man. Man, a lot of that's why a lot of these cats to do these videos, man, they get paid. All right, fun fact.
I worked for this company so long that they, when I started this company back in 2000, was it 2005? They did not put this in a pick. They didn't put this pickle inside of a plastic wrap. Now, this was trial and error. The first pickles that they put in these wraps, they Still all in this, huh? Same with the bag. You, you, how'd you know? That's what we use. That's what I <laughs> So it was this yeah. thing called rolling pickles. And they would give that to the people who always came late, who didn't do their job. It was like a, a task to, to piss them off called rolling pickles. Because if you didn't do it right, it's a mess. The pickle juice is everywhere. Like you had to have a tight roll. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the first ones they shipped out like this to get rid of that duty, they had mold on the pickles. And everybody was outraged. Oh my God, you guys pickles are so good. Why is it molded? Oh, why is it molded on it? They didn't have a way to figure out the packaging thing. You see how it got a little, little moistness in there? Yeah. That's to keep that bit, that's to keep that pickle fresh. The so, moisture comes from the pickle itself. Yeah, and you know, and what they were doing, I guess, at the company factory, they were drying the pickles and then putting them in here. <laughs> so you know, well, these people. Are crazy. <laughs> so yeah, you had we had a lot of uh, complaints about the pickle being molded or having like you know these little blotches on them. But let's see, we got a crunch. Oh yeah. Fresh. That's how pickles supposed to be. You know, if people used to come to this company, Jason's, just for the pickles. Can I buy uh, a dozen pickles beers? A jar, man. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, we don't put nothing special on our pickles. It's just uh, a small gherkin, which is a gherkin cucumbers, dipped in vinegar with the seasoning. I mean, it's nothing special, but they do use less salt in their pickles than other canned pickles and stuff, so. I got a quarter left, man. I'm already full. I underestimate. <laughs> Dude, the football teams used to come in and get two of these bad boys. Two of them. I seen Robert Ori over there. I used to work at the deli. I worked at three of them, actually. But one of the other guys to work at was in the Rice Village, next to uh, the campus, University of Rice. And I had a chance to meet Robert Ory, because he came in over there. This guy, man, Robert Ory put away two club sandwiches. You know, Mr. Robert Ory, the rings, you know, San Antonio, Mr. H-Town. This guy killed those sandwiches. And it takes big guys to eat, you know. And then he took a muffaletta home. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't for nobody else, probably for him. Well, those are big sandwiches for big dudes. I and mean, if you got an appetite, you can put that away. Yep, got a cane soda. Let's go in. I just now drank those sodas that I had gotten from uh, Rocket Fizz like a couple of days ago. Word? Yeah. Oh, man. She was good. Oh, yeah. I mean, we killed that, me and my wife. This, like the next day when I got them, we, like I didn't drink any. I told her I needed a break from soda. So the next day, well, the next two days, we went got we got these plastic shot cups, and poured it up for everybody in the house. <laughs> my daughter was like, we're playing the game with my daughter. Like, can you guess that? You know what I'm saying? Guess what flavor that is? Yeah, so it's pretty fun. Well, that was Jason's, y'all. Uh, I don't know, man. Did you enjoy that? I enjoyed it. That's it's pretty the first, good. First time for him, you know what I'm saying? Um, I should have ate that panini one uh, last, yeah. actually. <laughs> yeah. With the, 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 the spinach and everything, it kind of blended real well together with the pesto. Kind it of blended perfectly, man. Yeah. That's, that, that's a good combo right there. I, I'm thinking that the, the, when they change the bread, I think that you taste more pesto because that bread is so thin now. Yeah. Before the bread was about the same like that French sandwich I had, it was thick. So it absorbed some of that pesto. When, you know, anytime you're using something with oil base, you need to worry about your consistency of thickness. If it's something thin, it's gonna soak right through. So you're gonna be having more oil, oil, oil taste. Right. But, uh, but they, they grill that bread on yeah, the outside, so yeah. that makes it pretty crispy. Yeah, crispy, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Cause I like a crisp, a crunch. When you take that first bite, I like that crunch. And see, that, that lets you know that he's worked at a sandwich place. Cause everybody who's made their own sandwiches <laughs> and worked at those places, we know how a sandwich is supposed to taste. When it's soggy, you're like, man, what the hell? It's not a sandwich. Like, it's that perfection, that crisp. Like everything, every time you take a bite, it's supposed to be a good crunch yeah. from your lettuce. Your, you know, everything you put on there is supposed to just blend well. 
you know. When I used to make sandwiches, I made sure you got a bite of everything. That's right. That's right. Every bite you took. <laughs> That's right. I put I put some love in those sandwiches. I don't mean to brag on my sandwiches when I worked at Jason's, but people said that they could compare my sandwiches to the com to the menu that it looks just the same, layered and everything, because it's all when you make a sandwich, it's artwork. Pretty much, yeah. Cooking food and making sandwiches, all artwork, man. It, if it looks pretty, it pretty much is gonna taste good. If it looks bad, it's pretty much gonna taste bad, you know. Okay, guys, that, that was the video. Um, hope you guys yeah. have a good day. Cheers. Uh, we'll see you next time. Next time. Peace.